Hey everybody, this is the 44th Carol Potentate, John T. Chapman from Pyramid Temple Number 1. I want to welcome everybody to this informative session for updates and new information regarding the Imperial Council and the Imperial Court. I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who traveled to Philadelphia for the 128th and the 110th Imperial Council and Imperial Court sessions. It was a tremendous success even beyond my expectations. Uh, we were very concerned for a long period of time because there were restrictions by the state, the federal government, and the city of Philadelphia for large meetings. Uh, just let me say that in a very short window, approximately 10 weeks, our staff pulled this meeting together, okay, and constructed content and workshops for the various members who have an interest in them. I want to thank our convention department, both uh, daughter Pat Barmy Moore and Honorary Pass Imperial Potentate Frederick Bell um, for the work that they did and that their staffs did in making this thing successful. It took a lot, quite a bit, but Subsequently, because we were under contractual requirement, the session was held. I never thought that there would be 5,000 people to register. I never thought that we would bring 20 plus thousand people to the city of Philadelphia for that week. We got a lot done in terms of business. Um, we had a new Imperial commander selected, daughter Paulette Brown from Arabic Court, Chicago, Illinois, who is serving now as the 49th Imperial Commanders. We want to thank and acknowledge and appreciate daughter Jacqueline Brown Arredondo, who served as our 48th Imperial Commanders and did a fine and excellent job during her tenure of service. The Registration and housing information for the 129th and 111th Imperial Council and Imperial Court sessions in the great city of St. Louis, Missouri is now available. The online links through the portal are available to those people who registered for the Philadelphia session online. Okay, the forms themselves are loaded to the website, can be downloaded, completed, and sent to Memphis via U.S. mail. Okay, they also have the opportunity to, you have now the opportunity to pay electronically, okay, so that the U.S. mail does not delay or in other way, in, in any other manner, okay, um, delay uh, the response both for the registration badges and the housing. We've chartered a number of new temples and courts throughout the domain in the first year of my tenure. Moving forward, we have now chartered a new temple in the desert of Alabama, uh, Malek Temple number 270 in Bessemer, okay? And part of the remarkable accomplishment with this chartering was that 51 people decided that they wanted to be a new temple. And numbering among that 51 who were created was a four-star, two-star, three-star, army general, two colonels, two command sergeant majors, and the vice president of SAP Software, which is one of the largest software providers in the world, okay, were a part of that group of 51. Uh, I can only thank the illustrious potentate Dwight Coleman and the new deputy of the desert, uh, Clarence Washington, for their efforts to make this thing happen. And we look forward to great success with that group of men. Additionally, we are getting ready to charter a court in the desert of the District of Columbia, Edfu Court. Those ladies are ready to go. We just have to get a date in December when we're going to schedule and carry out the chartering ceremony. Folks, we're growing. One of the things that I discovered through my staff was that 
the virtual creation and the virtual exaltation have really motivated people, especially the virtual creation, because people are able to go online, go through the process in a few hours and be done, okay, and become members of the organization. The daughters created over 1,300. The nobles created nearly 2,000. That's a significant jump in membership. What we have to do now with all the new folk we have, all the folk that we've brought back through reinstatements, we have to give them the motivation and the ambition to stay and to serve. Because bringing people in and then letting them out the door six months later, okay, is really no accomplishment. So the real work is ahead of us, okay? And the task of getting them is now behind us. So I want to thank everybody who referred people, who supported people, okay, who have addressed this notable accomplishment, okay? And we are continuing with the virtual creations okay, and the virtual exaltations through the entire tenure of this imperial potentate. We have joint departments in the imperial council. These joint departments are made up of nobles and daughters around a particular subject matter or topic. These departments are led by nobles who serve as the directors, okay, on both the nobility and the daughter side of the discussion. As far as an administrator is concerned, the administrator is also assigned and established on the noble side of the organization to govern and support and assist the directors in their delivery of their product, i.e. the ICE department. The ICE department is now a joint department it is a department where Jocelyn Hill and our new Imperial lecturer, Stephen Norfin of Nabar Temple Number 128, okay, serve and implement not just ritualistic activities, but training and development for leadership and good leadership practice in our temples and courts across the domain, okay. An administrator nor the imperial lecture needs to be involved in the creation ceremony for daughters or the exaltation ceremonies. There's no need for that. Okay, we don't need to be a part of that. But when we're talking about training people, well, that's a joint effort without question. So all I can do is urge you to support, participate, and solicit when necessary, okay, for these fine people to deliver a service to you. Hey folks, we're in a critical period. Election day is November 2nd. An important practice of democracy for every citizen in this great nation. If we're going to move this nation forward, be productive, and be a true leader in this world, Okay, you have to get out and cast your ballot on November 2nd. If you cannot get out, remember, you have the opportunity to utilize mail-in ballots. Don't wait to the last minute to get one. Get it, fill it out, seal it as instructed, and put it in either a mail-in ballot collection box in your community or in the U.S. mail. And remember, right now, we're having a problem with U.S. mail, and it's slowed down and become more costly. So either try to get it to a collection box or show up physically in person on Election Day and exercise your franchise. It's extremely important. It's important for the nation as a whole. It's important for the African-American community especially. People fought and died so that we would have the right to stand in the poll on election day and choose our leaders. That's about all I have this evening. I want to say God bless you. Good night. I understand the Imperial Commanders is going to have some words shortly. So let's listen to what the 
49th Imperial Commanders, daughter Paulette Brown of Arabic Court, Chicago, Illinois, has to say, let's come together, let's work together, let's make this a wholesome, successful experience for everybody. Okay, folks, something very important to understand and be knowledgeable about. In a previous administrative bulletin, permission was granted for courts or temples to either meet in person or virtually. It is the choice of the court or the temple. If you choose to meet in person, you're required to follow whatever COVID guidelines and restrictions are in place in the local communities and in that state. So yes, you can meet in person. Yes, you can meet virtually. It's your choice. Secondly, <clears throat> elections can be done through election runner in December. So that again is another option if there is a virtual meeting for the court or temple. In addition to that, the new constitution for the imperial court, my understanding is, is that it is complete, that all of the input and suggestions uh, have been constructed and uh, inserted into the language of that constitution. And at the request of the imperial commanders, I will issue a letter designating that constitution as official and in force as of December the 1st, 2021. We've made some real progress. Daughters, we've given you voting privilege, okay? We've straightened out visitation. You know, if you're an active daughter paying your dues in a court, why should somebody have to decide whether you can come and visit? Okay? You're in good standing. And there are many, many other changes in that constitution that breaks away from traditions that have outlived themselves. So the important thing that we have to understand, okay, and this is what feeds the street committee, okay, some traditions are of great value, should be sustained and maintained. But there are other traditions that we have to pass away from, okay, and move forward and make pro progress so that we grow as an organization but we we begin to bring in younger successful members who want to be a part of this okay my days of when i became a noble have gone by okay younger men have different viewpoints ask different questions function with different postures I understand that, okay? It's more of a struggle for me as an elder, okay, than it is for the young person who may be engaged in a debate with me, okay? Because while I understand what I understand, I also have to understand what's being presented to me. And we will continue to recognize daughters and nobles that have been forgotten uh, in this next edition of the pyramid there's a daughter who was featured who is from Hemyar Court in Harrisburg Pennsylvania so I have designated her as an honorary past imperial commanders because she is 108 years old so at the end of the day, anybody who has lived, has quality of life, 108 years, you know, we, we just need to give them a little taste of the sweet tea, okay? And we're going to acknowledge other people who make contributions to this organization, okay? That's payment enough, okay, for receiving the honor. So I want to thank everybody for listening to me this evening. Um, I'm, I'm accessible. My email is jchapman at aeaonms.org. Okay. And if you have an issue, I'm willing to listen.
doesn't mean I'm going to always agree or give you what you ask for, but I am willing to listen. <laughs>